If you're a member of China's new Money Delete and you've got cash to burn, what can you buy out there that really says class? Well, you could buy a Ferrari or another Gucci handbag, or you could splash out on a Portuguese stallion. And this is exactly what some of China's wealthiest individuals have been doing. I've come here to the eastern suburbs of Beijing to meet one of them. His name is Mr. Sima. He's a property developer and has spent the last seven years building up a stable that now has eight horses. For those who breed and sell horses around the world, Mr. Sima and the scores of millionaires like him represent a huge potential market. I think you can compare the number of Chinese who ride to the number of people who play ping pong in France. Yes, French people like ping pong, but not a whole lot actually play it. Today, only a few Chinese really ride horses, but I think there'll be more in future. And in fact, some of the world's major breeding regions are so keen to break into that market that they've set up representative offices here in a bid to get the country's local rich to buy in their region. Most people who ride in China are not going to be competing in the Olympics. Like me, they're just doing it to relax. They don't need an Olympic horse and can't afford one either. What they need is just a simple, ordinary horse to ride. So foreign promoters should really focus on teaching Chinese how to appreciate horses and how to ride and take care of them. And gradually, they will see more demand in the market. Unlike a Bentley, horses require round-the-clock care. China also lacks the competitions to ride them in, and quarantine restrictions make importing them a risky business. But there's one other element lacking for a really successful horse industry to take off, and that's gambling. Gambling on horses is by far the most lucrative element of the horse industry. And while it's legal and hugely popular in Hong Kong, on the mainland, it's illegal. I think this is a really sensitive part. And also, it's uh, all should be uh, organized by the government. We are just trying to nurture this market to wait when, until everything is ready. I believe the government will say yes. So until gambling is made legal, betting on making money from China's rich may not reap the rewards it appears to promise. And that